So let's open up the package and I'll show you these special features. So you do get a small user manual as well as a very nice 10 gigabits per second, 60 watt USB-C cable. They do provide you with a small Phillips screwdriver to go ahead and install your SSD. Also in the box, you have an extra screw and two additional washers. And here we have the Dock Case Explorer Edition. Let's peel this off. So we have a closer look inside the glass panel. And one of the coolest features of this enclosure is that it has a digital display right on the enclosure that tells you all about the health of your SSD drive. The other very important feature is that it has a 10 second power loss protection feature that uses a super capacitor built into the enclosure itself, which is right here on the left hand side, this purple colored capacitor. And what this does is that it provides you up to 10 seconds of power after the drive loses power or is disconnected. This is gonna allow the drive to finish copying the data from its cache onto the disk and will help prevent data loss. This is a very important feature to have if you store important data on your external SSD drives, such as video footage and other important data. So if we flip over the Dock Case Explorer Edition, we see the backside here, which is black. It's also available in pink and silver if you prefer those colors. So right here at the bottom of the enclosure is where you would plug in the included cable. And this is the cable that is used to transfer the data to and from the device, whether it be a tablet, laptop, or smartphone. It's important to note that there are actually two USB ports on this enclosure. There's this one on the side here, and this USB-C port is a special feature of this enclosure, is it allows you to add up to 15 watts of additional power to the enclosure in the event that the device which this enclosure connects to is not providing sufficient power for the NVMe SSD enclosure here. And this port is only used to provide that extra power, it does not carry any data. So again, make sure that you plug in the included cable to the correct USB-C port at the bottom of the enclosure. So on the same side where that USB-C port is located, you also have what's called the D key button. And you're gonna go ahead and use that button to rotate the display depending on how you want the screen oriented, whether it be portrait or landscape, you're gonna just go ahead and double click that button and it will rotate the screen 90 degrees clockwise. You will also use this button to navigate the display pages and to modify options using either a short press or a long press on this D key button. The dock case enclosure not only keeps your SSD cool, but it also provides blazing fast speeds up to 10 gigabits per second when you use a USB 3.1 Gen 2 port with UASP protocol support and the compatible NVMe SSD drives that are up to four terabytes in size. This dock case enclosure is compatible with Windows devices such as PCs and laptops, as well as Mac devices like MacBooks and iPads, as well as smartphones such as iPhone and Android, and is even compatible with Linux devices like the Steam Deck. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to install your NVMe SSD drive onto the enclosure. And what I have here is the Crucial P3 Plus NVMe SSD, which is a great budget option that is perfect for everyday use. It's not the fastest thing, but I was able to get this four terabyte drive without breaking the bank. And that's gonna provide ample external storage for all my needs. So let's install this drive with the included screwdriver. All right, so I recommend using this included foam pad to go ahead and put it below the enclosure. That way it doesn't scratch up the tempered glass on the front of the Dock Case Explorer Edition. The enclosure also looks futuristic and is stunning with its tempered glass window that lets you look right into the internal electronic components of the enclosure. All right, you guys, and this is super easy. You're gonna use that included screwdriver and just remove this screw here. And then go ahead and remove the cover. And when I open up this enclosure, you can tell that it's very well built with its aluminum metal design, it's very sturdy and it's gonna last you a long time. Now a little quick tip right here, you're gonna wanna make sure not to remove this film here. It says do not tear off, so make sure you leave it as is. And here inside the enclosure, we see that purple super capacitor. It's gonna give us that 10 seconds of power loss protection in case the drive is disconnected or loses power for whatever reason to go ahead and safely transfer the data from the cache onto the installed drive. Now, in terms of the drive support for the M.2 SSDs here, we have the port for the smaller 2230, 2242, 2260, and finally the 2280, which is what the size is of this crucial P3 plus SSD drive. And now before we actually install our drive, we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and remove the screw here that's under the 2280. 
All right, now you're gonna take your SSD drive and match up this little slot here to the key here that we see on the port itself. And you're gonna to wanna to install it at a 30 degree angle. So I'm gonna just kind of put it in real quick and I'll show you guys what the 30 degree angle looks like. It's gonna look something like this. And so once you insert it at that 30 degree angle, go ahead and push down on the drive and you're gonna install the screw to secure the drive to the enclosure. And this is what it should look like if you install it successfully. Now we're gonna place the cover back on the enclosure. You wanna make sure that this screw hole matches up with this little gold post right here. And that is where the screw will secure this cover to the enclosure. All right, and now that I have the NVMe drive installed in the dock case enclosure, I'm gonna go ahead and connect up this USB-C cable to my MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro chip. All right, and here we see it booting up. And now I'm gonna show you how to navigate through the display to get real-time monitoring of your SSD. All right, so we have some real-time information on the top left corner. We see that the drive is currently at 33 degrees Celsius. It's also currently idle as shown on the top right. We see that the power loss protection supercapacitor is being charged up right now. That means that if the drive is removed or it loses power right now, you're not gonna have that protection until it's charged. Next in blue tells you some detailed information about your connected drive. It tells you the size of the storage and what type of NVMe drive it is, as well as the model number of your drive, which is great because I have so many enclosures and I always forget what drive I put in there because you can't see inside most enclosures, but this one actually tells you exactly what drive you have in this enclosure with the little display here, which is awesome. Now this is very important too. It tells you how much life your NVMe drive has. So right now my life of my current NVMe is 100%. That means it's good. That means it's gonna last me a long time. It's nowhere near the end. And then in the purple box, it tells you what USB protocol is being used. Right here it says USB 3.1, max 10 gigabits per second. So I can get that full 10 gigabits per second if I wanted to. And finally, if you are transferring files to and from your laptop, for example, it will show you here in megabytes how much data is being transferred. So again, this enclosure has has some nifty features. So if you happen to be holding it like this, for example, you can just go ahead and double click that D key and it's gonna rotate it and you'll wanna keep rotating it until the screen is oriented so that you can read the data, which is really great. All right on the top here, we see that we have eight seconds of power loss protection ready. That means if there is power loss, we are protected. And you saw that it didn't take that much time to charge up. All right, and now to get to the other options available, you're gonna long press that D key button. And here you see that it cycles through the different ones available. So for example, we can get more information on the SSD that's installed and you can just single press to go back to the main page. Again, we get long press and go to the about me and it tells you information about the actual dock case enclosure. Again, if you long press and wait to go into the right menu, now we're gonna go to monitor and this is gonna display some system monitor information here as far as temperature and voltages. Single press to go back to the main menu. And finally, we have e configuration menu. So with the dock case explorer edition, you actually have a lot of information about your NVMe drive as well as the enclosure, all on this little display that's on the enclosure itself without the need to load any software on your computer. All right, so now I'm gonna do some real world transfer speed tests of the dock case explorer edition. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and run a benchmark to test its speeds. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But I do wanna mention that if you like what you see so far and you are interested in picking up the dock case explorer edition, I will leave a link down in the description below. I will also leave a link to that crucial P3 plus NVMe drive that I'm using in this enclosure. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and transfer a 10 gigabyte video file from my MacBook onto the dock case Explorer edition. I'm going to go ahead and paste the item and we'll see what kind of speeds we get. All right, and there we see that it transferred the 10 gigabyte file from my MacBook onto the Dock Case Explorer drive. Now we're gonna go ahead and take this 10 gigabyte file and copy it from the Dock Case Explorer edition to the MacBook Pro. All right, so here we go. And we see that it's gonna copy in less than a minute.
and just like that it's done and we see that 10 gigabyte video file on my macbook pro that was transferred from the dock case explorer edition all right and now we're going to run the blackmagic disk speed test for mac and we'll see some write and read speeds here Okay, here with the Blackmagic Disk Speed Test, we see transfer speeds consistent with the capabilities of the Crucial P3 Plus SSD drive. And so if you do end up picking the Dock Case Explorer Edition, you can make sure that this enclosure will truly reach those speeds that are advertised by the manufacturer for the given NVMe SSD. Of course, depending on whether you have it hooked up to the corresponding USB-C ports that are compatible with the max speeds of the drives. All in all, this is a great enclosure with features that you won't see anywhere else. This this is a solid buy if you want to keep your data safe and keep track of the health of your SSD drive in a visual way right on the enclosure itself, all at a relatively low price. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Zadius Tech out.